What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm so excited to finally share with you my latest project, the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 Plus glowing Apple logo mod. I just got back from DC and it was successful. We did manage to get it to work and it looks absolutely stunning. My favorite mod period for any iPhone. On this channel, we're keeping that dream alive by installing them on iPhones when Apple discontinued them on the MacBook series. It's something that I definitely love and would like Apple to do on an OEM scale, release it with their iPhones uh, at launch, but that's probably not gonna happen. So I took matters into my own hands and had the glowing Apple logo mod installed on the new iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone 10 in a couple different colors. So it's now so much more difficult, and that is an understatement. This is incredibly hard to do. The end result is so satisfying, so bright. It looks amazing, but the amount of work and just terrible things you're gonna do to your iPhone to make this happen makes this very difficult to go through. So in this video, I wanted to share with you how to get a glowing Apple logo on your iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or iPhone 10 series if you really, really wanted to do it, or if you just wanted to see how it's done. It's a very interesting process, actually. Incredibly difficult, but satisfying to watch. And this was done by Trung in Falls Church, Virginia. I've recommended him for my last iPhone 7 Plus glowing Apple logo mod. He is an absolute wizard at this stuff, and his contact location will be down below in the description. He repairs phones, but mostly you guys know him for actually doing the glowing Apple logo. And hey, he is Apple certified officially as well, so that's cool. Anyways, let's get to it. How to install a glowing Apple logo mod on your brand new shiny iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or iPhone 10. Now because of the change this year with the organic LED display, there's something you guys must know. You are no longer able to do a white LED mod on the iPhone 10. You're limited to red, green, and blue. This is because of the change to an organic LED display. It requires less voltage and thus inadvertently it does limit this mod to those colors. If you actually try and power white LEDs with the iPhone 10, it will not work with two. And if you try and power one, it starts burning it up because it's too much voltage. So the sweet spot is using two of these colored LEDs and that way we can prevent our phone from burning up and still have a pretty cool effect. Now blue is the weakest, red definitely is the brightest and most vivid, and green is a nice sweet spot in between them. The red, man, it really, really shines. If you guys saw it earlier in the video, man, this thing can shine down a hallway and you guys will know where you're going. It definitely catches eyes at night if uh, that's something that you're going for. So I'm gonna try and break this down as simply as possible, even though I know a fraction of a fraction of people watching this will actually do this. I'd be surprised if there was even one. Do comment below if you're that one person. Anyways, so of course we start with removing the display on the iPhone 10, much like the iPhone 7 and 8 series, it opens up to the right. Now, when actually opening it up, we try to preserve the existing waterproof seal because I know a lot of you guys will be wondering what happens with the waterproofing. Now, I would recommend you guys do buy a new waterproofing seal to replace after doing this, if you're doing this on your own, otherwise Trung would do that for you. Also, you could preserve your existing one if you're very careful in cutting it open as we did here. So once you open that up, you wanna go ahead and remove the display from the actual body. That way we can begin working on the mod below. Now, the first method I'm gonna be showing you guys is less invasive. And there are two methods in this video I'll be showing you. Both methods do void your warranty as you're actually tampering with the innards of your iPhone. Actually replacing your screen on your own does not void your warranty according to Apple's recent policy change. Otherwise, the second method is very invasive, will actually be cutting the metal chassis underneath to get to the Apple logo. Uh, method one will actually be replacing the rear glass. Method number two, we will be using the original glass and so on. Anyways, so the actual connection point we're gonna be using has been hidden by Apple on the display. There's a very tiny imprint, a connector that we do have to reveal, and this is the positive terminal, which provides 4.9 volts, which is perfect for two of the colored LEDs. Again, white will not work. There are no compatible white LEDs of the size that we need that require a low amount of voltage. Fun fact, it actually took Trung an entire week of searching and discovery to find this connection point. Apple really doesn't want you tampering with the inside of your iPhone 10. The iPhone 8 Plus and 8 have basically the same methodology as the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Next up, you wanna add a little flux onto that connection point and a dab of solder so we can connect to it later. Then test it, it should read 4.6 volts. The negative can go really anywhere in the case. And test the LEDs next. These are from the Light Up Apple logo kits for multicolor. Very nice and bright LED, the only one really that would work with this mod. 
Next up, you want to daisy chain them together. And depending on which color you're going to be using, you're going to use a different connection point. The positive stays in the same spot on the board. So go ahead and use a multimeter to test which color combination you want. And if you guys aren't overwhelmed yet, do consider that this is the easy part. So next up, we're going to use a discarded LCD from an iPhone 6 all the way to a 7. We need the back panels. It's a little translucent film. There's actually several layers to it. So you want to cut out a shape that will match your Apple logo because we're going to be placing it directly behind it in order to give it a very clear and even distribution of light. So once you do get that off, you want to pull the thickest plastic layer out and clip a little bit of it off to fit the LEDs in its place. So that way we're not creating any extra thickness inside of the iPhone. It will basically sit as it should. The screen will not jut out. Don't even worry about that. Trust me, we've done it too. It works perfectly fine. Anyways, so you want to use a little adhesive on the bottom where you trim that little plastic off and we're going to apply our LEDs right there. So they should already be soldered together. Basically, this little pad is what we're going to apply to the back of the Apple logo. And yeah, I didn't really even talk about the casing, how we got the Apple logo to be clear. You definitely cannot buy these. We had to make it. So as I said earlier, there are two ways to do this. You can actually keep your existing glass if you go through the inside out. You got to trim away some metal and then carve away the Apple logo manually. It does require skill. It is not easy. I would not recommend you do it on your own unless you have a very steady hand. And even then, it might not look completely perfect. The second way that I did it that actually turned out very nice is I ordered a replacement glass. Then under a very bright light, I applied a vinyl to it that we cut out on a vinyl machine ourselves. So that way I knew the position of the Apple logo entirely and then cut it out according to that vinyl. And that turned out pretty well. As you can see, it's very sharp, very precise. Although this does require you to replace your original glass with this one. So it's a little bit more intrusive than keeping your existing one, but does look a little better. And I will admit that is the hardest part of this is getting the clear glass made. And I hope in the future they will sell that as a kit down the road. But right now it doesn't exist. We had to make it ourselves. Either way, it turned out pretty good. Anyways, next up, it's very important to secure secure the Apple logo to the back of the shell using a very thin adhesive tape. They make it specifically for working inside of phones and make sure it doesn't rattle, doesn't move around. Trung was very thorough with actually taping down all of the connections, making sure everything was insulated against shortages and stuff like that. Anyways, to actually run the wire through to the necessary connection pin, we need to remove the upper part of the battery and just fold it up. You don't need to remove the entire battery if you're taking off the rear glass before doing this. If you're doing this from the inside out, you will need to remove the entire battery and then cut away at the metal where the Apple logo is in order to access the Apple logo. In this case, I did remove the rear glass prior, so it's a little simpler. I can just feed the wire straight through into the shell without any sort of cutting through the wireless charging pad. And this is the method I would recommend personally to turn out the best for me. Anyways, once you go ahead and pull those through, go ahead and solder that connection pin to the exposed one we revealed in the display, the little secret one. And uh, then go ahead and just tightly go ahead and insulate it, set it, make sure there's no extra slack. Trung, again, was very thorough with this. This is how I know he does a very good job. If you're doing this to an iPhone 7 or below, he's going to do a very good job with you. I honestly don't know if I would recommend this to an iPhone 8 unless you really have balls of steel and are willing to see your iPhone go through this and uh, he will actually make you sign a disclaimer if you're going to give him a 10 or an 8 or an 8 plus that it's not his fault that certain things might happen. So you really have to accept the risk if you want to do this on a newer device. And for the ground cable, doesn't really matter where you put it, just as long as it's grounded. I would recommend putting it in the plate connector screws when actually closing the device up. Anyways, before you close the display, you want to make sure it's working, test it out. But in this case, it looks very good, very even. And uh, that one is done. And next up, I wanted to mention the iPhone 8 Plus version. This one is a little bit easier to do, and the result is certainly better because you are able to use white LEDs on it. Because it's still an LCD display, you do get more voltage to power those. And honestly, I would prefer white on the iPhone 10 if it was available, but the red is the second best choice in my opinion. Now on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, it's a very similar method to the 7 and 7 Plus, aside from the whole glass back thing. The power source is still the same, and you can adjust the brightness of the logo according to the brightness of your display because he taps right into the display power. On the iPhone 10, it's a little different. It's at a set brightness, so the brightness will never change on the logo whether or not your screen brightness is low or high, so do consider that. Very similar process to the iPhone 10 here. We do still have to cut into the metal if you're doing it from the inside. Side. Otherwise, if you want to replace the rear glass, you don't have to cut that metal in order to do this. 
Otherwise, we do have the white LEDs here. Looks very clean with the space gray. I really wish I had that on the iPhone 10, but that is not an option. So this is my perfect combination. It's actually even brighter than the iPhone 7 Plus version because we're not actually shining through an acrylic little Apple logo. It's going straight through the glass. So the light is very, very blinding. Not blinding, but it's very distinctive. You're definitely gonna notice it walking down the street and the darker it gets, it becomes more of a flashlight guiding your way. It can be really awesome as you do get attention, but sometimes you don't want that unwanted attention. And one of my biggest pet peeves with this mod is that when you're taking pictures of a reflective surface, like a selfie in the mirror, which I don't know why you're doing either way, <laughs> just kidding, but it will reflect in that mirror. Sometimes when it's darker, it can be a little overwhelming. Otherwise, I'm willing to live with the cons in order to accept this sexy mod on my personal iPhone, and I will be using the red on my iPhone 10. I love it. It's a bit blinding. It's like a little spotlight shining everywhere you go. So do consider that that will be there and you can't remove it. You cannot reverse this operation unless you actually replace the glass. And it's a big process. It was a lot simpler on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and below to go back if you don't like it. On this, it's almost permanent, so do remember that. Now for the brave and willing, you guys can do this with Trung. If you wanna do it on your iPhone 10 and 8 and 8 Plus, remember he will make you sign a disclaimer form that it is not his fault if anything goes wrong because this is a very risky procedure, but also can be rewarding. Now he is able to do this even on an iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, iPhone 6, 6 Plus and the iPhone SE, and we're working on iPad versions right now. Now he lives in Arlington, Virginia, where he operates in his shop, and he charges $50 to do this. If you guys are in the area, you can actually ship him your iPhone to do this, and I've personally done it. I know people that have. He is very trustworthy. Don't worry, you're not gonna lose your iPhone it'll still be the same price, but plus $10 shipping. So I will leave all of the information down below in the description for you guys to access that. I totally recommend him. All right, so uh, this is the man himself. This is Trung, his work. Um, you guys can find him in the Falls Church, Virginia. Apple certified too. How many years, like you said three years, 2014? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, this guy does what no one else has. This is the world's first glowing Apple logos on the 10, yeah. eight plus. All right, so All right. you guys know the face. All right, thank you. And last thing I wanted to mention is effect on battery life. So these are two tiny little LEDs that are running at basically 4.6 volts inside of your iPhone, you have a lot more inside of your backlit display. So the effect on battery life is very marginal. I wouldn't even worry about it. Otherwise, you get an amazing mod here. And thank you so much, Trunk, for making this happen on these new devices. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. All the information you guys can find down below if you want to do this for yourselves. Peace.